Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this short video I will show you how can you make your own universal latching switch. Based of one I see which has gained his popularity through the years and even in this day is being used in all kind of electronics projects due to his versatility. By the way the circuit can have advantage and disadvantage. All the time when working with main voltage be sure to check always your connection because mistakes happen and it's more better if you can avoid them so take all your precaution before you're working with the main voltage let's begin with the schematic which is now in front of you the circuit is very simple and well made and like in the title it's a universal switch which can be used for DC load as well as AC load the circuit at his core it's using the 5.5 timer which is configured in a fifth flop configuration now let's explain the principle of the circuit operation when the output pin 3 is high the capacitor C5 will charge through the resistor R4 to the pack value of our power supply and when the output at pin 3 is low the capacitor discharge through the same resistor to 0 volt in order to switch the output from high to low or low to high a momentary switch is being used at the junction between trigger and the threshold pin the voltage divider formed by the resistor R2 R3 will provide a voltage of a two third of our supply to the pin 6 and 2 and when the switch is pressed this voltage is interrupted and trigger the internal flip-flop this will allow the output to be switched between two stages in one word the circuit that acts as a toggle flip-flop and it's used to turn on a small relay to switch between on and off when the switch is pressed the power of the relay must be at least 10 ampere but in my case i choose this one which is rated to 2 ampere which is more than i need for my application i have for it and like that our switch has more capability of power and it's also isolated from our external load due to the nature of relay which they are galvanic isolated and can be modified instead of switching a relay between the stages can be used to switch on or off any kind of transistors now let's make in the circuit by grabbing all the required components and like usually soldering them to the prototyping board which is often called vero board let's add our IC socket and solder it to our board after we will proceed in the similar fashion with the rest of the components just placing them and soldering and like that after some time has passed our board is ready for the first test for powering the board you can use any power supply with at least a voltage of 9 to 12 volts and like mostly of the time i will be using one of my battery pack which i have made a while back after we have power to the board we can like the name suggests change the state of our load first let's try with a dc load and as you can see it's working just fine after which the AC main voltage came in. I will be using this bulb which always I am using when I work with transformers and power supply but this is a topic for another video. So this was all for today, I hope I will see you all in my next video, until then have a nice day and thank you very much for watching, see ya.